So the cry is, no taxation without representation. Well, one item that was still being taxed without representation was tea. So we're going to take a look at the events surrounding the Boston Massacre and the Boston Tea Party. In what ways did Mercy Otis Warren and Samuel Adams protest against the British? So let's take a look. I'll give you a second to read these. Okay, Mercy Otis Warren hosted revolutionary meetings in her home. She supported the cause of independence through her writing, and her most famous piece of work was the anti-British playbook Blockheads. And Samuel Adams organized resistance to the Stamp Act. He also organized the Boston Tea Party and uh, formed the first committee of correspondence and also signed the Declaration of Independence. Okay, the Quartering Act of 1765, the colonists had to provide can, uh, candles, bedding, and beverages to British soldiers. Uh, because of the New York Assembly refused to obey the law, the British dismissed the Assembly. Okay, you might see uh, our Third Amendment to the Constitution may, does play a little role in quartering of troops. Okay, here we are in the Boston Massacre. Okay, so how the Boston Massacre goes down. Okay, the boys began to throw ice at a British guard. Bam. Hey, kid, I wouldn't do that again if I were you. Okay, a crowd soon grew large and started getting rowdy. The British soldiers opened fire, killing five colonists, including Crispus Attucks, a black sailor active in the Sons of Liberty. Okay, on the same day as the Boston Massacre, the Townsend Acts were repealed, except for the tax on tea. This is the uh, Boston Gazette telling the story. Okay, so boy oh boy, this tea boycott is killing my business, says a um, uh, tea shop owner in the colonies. Uh, here we are, the British, tea, tea, British East India Company with your tea shipment. No way, I can't even sell the tea I have now. Well, <laughs> you can't do that. What am I supposed to do with all this tea? Says, don't ask me, it's not my problem. <clears throat> okay, uproar over tea. So since the British continued their tax on tea, the colonists continued to boycott British tea. As a result, the colonial boycott on tea, the British East India Company lost a lot of money. So now Britain passes the Tea Act of 1773. Okay, now, instead of going through British merchants, I'm sorry, uh, colonial merchants, the British could go directly to uh, the colonists, cutting out the middlemen. So now the merchants are going to be hurt by this. Okay, so the British East India Company was allowed to sell tea directly to the colonists, bypassing the tea merchants. Although they still paid the tea tax, the price of tea decreased. If the price of tea decreased, why were the colonists so angry? Well, here's why. Uh, tea merchants had been cut out of the tea trade. They thought it was a trick to make the colonists accept the tea tax. And in order to protect... Uh, protest against the Tea Act, the Sons of Liberty organized the Boston Tea Party. Okay, Boston Tea Party. Approximately 50 to 60 men dressed as Native Americans boarded three ships loaded with tea. All the tea was thrown overboard into the water. We're going to see the response to the British government next.